fights with Shakur that you've been calling for now that he, he could be a free agent? Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't I didn't know I didn't know it was his last fight. Um, I know Shakur has a date, right? In in July July six. I was already working um, I think from the beginning of the year for another date. Um, um, I think it was in June for Cepeda. But I, I would love to make that fight. Let let them fight their fights, you know, June and, and July or whatever it is and and then we can talk, you know, because I, I would love to make that fight. I think I think Shakur is one of the most talented fighters out there today. Um, and obviously, I believe in Cepeda, his punch output, his, uh, you know, his abilities in the ring to take a shot, to give a shot, throw punches and bunches. You know, he can, from my expertise, he can give Shakur some problems, you know, and vice versa. You know, it'll be a great fight. That's the bottom line. That's what we want. And if you do sign Shakur, obviously Ryan Garcia would be another uh, yeah. palatable fight. Is yeah. that something you would like to do as well? Absolutely. Look, uh, there's there's this this stacked division at 140 pounds. Fighters can move up to from 135 to 40, 47. You know, they're all in the mix. And I think you know the literally the money guy there is Ryan Garcia. You know, whether you want to believe it or not, it's Ryan Garcia. Even even after he got beat from Tank, you know, it's still Ryan Garcia. You know, just because I'm a golfer, so just because he beat Tiger Woods doesn't make you Tiger Woods. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, so so yeah, there's a lot of great fights to be made. You got Teofimo, Shakur. It's a it's a stacked division right now. It's exciting. You, you were a fighter who fought for your free agency as well too to control your career. Did a remarkable job. A lot of fighters seem to be doing that right now. Devin Haney, um, Terrence Crawford, and you know, Shakur being a free agent now too. What do you make of? Do you think that's a good sign for boxing? So all these big fights get made. Everyone kind of uh, yeah. controlling their careers like Canelo has. Well, look, you, you you still need a promoter, right? You still that's that's the bottom line because promoters deal with networks, promoters deal with like getting the venues and all that. You know, we 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 put the event together, so you still need a promoter, right? It just it just depends on the deal, on on what kind of deal you break with the promoter, you know. And so when I when I broke away from Bob Arum. I, I was still promoted by Bob Arum for several fights after I broke away from him, you know, because I needed a promoter, an experienced promoter like Bob. Um, but yeah, taking charge of your career is pretty cool. But just keep in mind that, you know, just because it's Mayweather promotions or just because it's, uh, you know, Haney promotions, you still need that infrastructure. You still need that team of people to put the event together. You know, it's not easy. I'll tell you that much. It's not easy. I've been, I've been on that side. I've been on this side. Um, if you have the right team, yeah, you can, you can go very far. Thank you.